Hey there, racer. Welcome back. I caught your last circuit, and you're looking pretty good out there. Hmm, who helped you with that? Obviously, my tips have been helping. And you are so welcome. Uh huh. That should not be in there. That's really not supposed to be there. It's biodegradable. So anyway, this is one of our new vehicles. Ain't she sweet? Whether you pick a cart or a bike or one of the brand new ATVs for Mario Kart 8, each vehicle comes with its own stats in speed, acceleration, weight, handling, and traction. But no matter what ride you choose, there's nothing quite like that feeling you get with that extra boost right off the start. Boost off the line. Ah! Here's how you do it in any vehicle. At the start of the race, press and hold down the accelerator as soon as you see the number two appear. This will leave your opponents in your rear view mirror. What the heck? <gasps> it's gonna blow! <laughs> now, for those of you who are newer to Mario Kart 8, you might be thinking to yourself, come on, this can't be the only way to get some extra speed around here. And you'd be right. In addition to those quick offline starts, every time you launch off a ramp, just press the jump button. This will give you a tiny little boost, but it really adds up over time. Slipstream. If you can maneuver your cart right behind another player for just a couple seconds, you can coast in their slipstream and then shoot forward, knocking them out of the way. They love that. So, we've got the boost off the line, we've got the jumps off the ramp, and we've got your handy dandy slipstream. But by far, my favorite new thing added to Mario Kart 8 is, drum roll please, the ridiculously awesome anti-gravity racing which turns your view of the world from this to this. Ah. This is what your vehicle looks like normally, but when you cross over one of the blue strips, magic happens. Magic happens. Look closely and you'll see that your wheels have transformed to allow anti-gravity racing. Anti-gravity racing. Racing, racing. Come on, people! You can drive upside down, sideways. You can even drive up a waterfall. A waterfall! And what's also great about this mode is that you can pull off a new technique called spin boosting. Yeah. By colliding with things in your environment or another racer, you can spin forward for a burst of energy, spinning you that much faster towards your victory. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. It's important to note that spin boosting will not work unless you're in anti-gravity mode. Hear me, people. Now, let's say you want a quick boost, but there's no anti-gravity strips in sight. Well, it's just like the previous Mario Kart games. You can always drift to gain some extra speed. Drifting works by holding down the jump button as you go into a turn. Release the button when you see the blue or orange sparks behind you, which allows you to activate your mini turbos. A blue spark will give you a good boost, but an orange spark will give you a great boost. Blue spark! Ah! Orange spark! Ah! There's so much more we could talk about for Mario Kart 8. We've really just scratched the surface, but I can see that they've restacked the Goomba Towers and I've got to get this bad boy back on track. I hope you've enjoyed the ride. For Wii U and Mario Kart 8, I'm your crew chief, Andrew. And I'll see you soon. Here we go. Ooh.